Hello. Well, we have had a fantastic week, or three weeks really, of constant sunshine and blue skies. Today is a lovely little bit cooler because we've got a stiff breeze. So um, I'm about to head off to England to visit my mother-in-law and I have to strim and tidy up before I go because everything is growing so fast and so quickly that if I don't if I don't tidy up now, it's going to be a terrible job to do when I get back. So um, I was just watching Hugh Richards on YouTube the other day and his garden is so beautiful and tidy and pretty. And um, I would really aspire to a garden like that, but he doesn't have any weeds. He doesn't have any of these wild plants. And I can't really get rid of them because they're so beneficial and so medicinal that I'm just going to have to live with an untidy garden. But today I'm really going to have to work on the dock because 30,000 seeds per plant and the fact that every little sliver of root can regrow into another plant is no laughing matter. They need to be kept under control. Saying that, in Old Ireland, if somebody was going to buy or rent a piece of land, they would be delighted to see docks on it because they indicate good soil. And what they do is they are dynamic accumulators, which means that they, their roots go down very, very deep. They can go down to about two to three feet and they mine for minerals. So then they bring up calcium, nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus into the leaves and when the leaves drop and rot away on the surface they replenish those minerals into the soil that we're sowing our crops into. So you know they get a very bad rap but they're actually very beneficial for the land. But what can they do for you? I'm going to tell you now. So here we have a few, several tall docks. Some of the leaves are already um, getting ready to drop. Some of them are just appearing as green little seeds. And some of them are very flat um, rosettes on the ground yet, and they will grow and grow. And we've got docks here at various stages of life. But what they can do for you is pretty phenomenal. There's dozens of things that um, DOC can do. It has several actions. It is a cholagog, which means it produces bile. It's a liver tonic, it's a blood cleanser, it's an alterative. It's going to um, stimulate the lymph as well to get things moving. It's also a diuretic. So it's working through the bowels and through the kidneys to eliminate toxins, which it can draw from your tissues. So if you've got a toxic blood or lymph system, the doc will draw out those toxins and eliminate through the bowels and the kidneys. And en route to those elimination points, it's going to help with cystitis, with gout, with stones and gravel, and with water retention. It's good for your digestive system because it's very soothing to the mucous membranes, even though it's astringent and drying. It soothes, it's gentle on the mucous membranes and it stimulates the gut motion. So instead of the gut maybe being um, hit and miss in terms of digestion, it's stimulating it to work properly and efficiently. So you're going to be extracting more nutrients from your food as well as it relieving constipation. But what DOC is really renowned for is its actions on the liver. It tones up the liver, it helps support the liver in every way, it detoxifies the liver. If you have jaundice, it can relieve jaundice, it can relieve stagnation of the liver. And as I said earlier, it does help the liver to produce more bile. So your digestive system benefits from that as well. But also, if your liver is functioning properly, your blood becomes cleaner, your lymph becomes cleaner, and so ultimately your skin becomes clearer and cleaner. And so DOC would be used for problems such as acne, boils, 
um, eczema, psoriasis, any kind of itchy eruption on the skin, you would use the DOC4. And you can use it both externally and internally. So Culpepper recommends breaking up the roots, chopping them up and boiling them up in vinegar and then you make a salve from the pulped roots because they get very soft and also you can use the vinegar as well um, either internally or externally and that's going to relieve those itchy skin eruptions and help clear the skin as well um, you know so it's not just a superficial cleansing. Juliette de Barclay Levi recommends using the leaves as a brew or bruising them slightly and putting them onto those areas where you have skin issues. And so because it's cooling, it's going to help with all those inflammatory conditions. So acne, is, as I mentioned earlier, but also rheumatism, arthritis, any pains like that, any aches and pains, Doc is going to relieve them. Come on you, out of the way. Come on. <laughs> So never mind Brock, this is a doc. This is a common doc. It's Rumex Crispus, which is the yellow doc, and there's also Rumex Obtusifolius. And um, you'll get them growing nearby to each other. This one you can recognize from the curly edge to the leaf, so it's curly doc, but they can be used interchangeably. As long as the root is yellow, it's a yellow doc and it can be used. That's it's the it's the medical con the medicinal constituents in the root that makes it look yellow and we dig the roots up in late summer early autumn and as I say they could be they could be up to two two feet long or, or more um, so most of the medicine is in the root and that's what most herbalists use today although Juliet de Barclay Levi does say you can make a brew of the leaves as well and leaves would be used for congested breasts. One of the other benefits of DOC is that it also um, contains organic iron. So if you're a person with anemia or if you're having heavy periods or if you have fibroids so you're losing a lot of blood you can get a lot of organic iron which is very bioavailable to the body from DOC root. And with all that liver cleansing and movement of the blood and the lymph and the, um, the, the eliminating of toxins from the body which leads to clearer skin, another benefit according to John Gerard, who is the late 16th century herbalist, he said that Doc purifieth the blood and makes the young wenches fair and cherry-like. So whether he means kind of little rosy cherub cherry cheeks or whether he meant cheery I don't know but he definitely suggests it makes young women more pretty. So what's not to like about the dock you know it's got all those incredible health benefits and it improves your soil it's just a case I think of giving it a little bit of room but being firm and not letting it take over. So I'd better get on with this before because I have to leave tomorrow and um, I want it to be tidied up. So uh, even though I'm going to cut it down, it's going to come back up again because it's perennial and it's pretty much unkillable. So it's not going to do it any harm for anyone who asks, well, what am I doing killing plants? I'm not killing it at all. I'm simply taking them down now so that the seeds don't disperse and create new plants. So these ones that are here are just going to come back. So I'm going to have a constant supply and they'll have grown back big enough to spot them in the autumn when I want to dig the roots out. So I'm going to love you and leave you and I'll see you again next week. Bye! I hope you enjoyed today's film. If you did, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And have a look at the website danusirishherbgarden.com for more information about us and about the herbal medicine courses I offer and the Wise Woman Way training. And if you go to the shop, you can find the books, the weed handbooks and other herbal goodies. And remember, we put a new film out every Sunday. So looking forward to seeing you next week.